Good morning and welcome to Twin Pine Auto Group. My name is Seth Burkholder and today we're going to be looking at the 2009 Nissan Rogue SL. Uh, this is going to be the top of the line Rogue, uh, which provides you with many, many amenities that you just will not find on a, uh, a compact SUV for the most part. Uh, starting off, you can see they give you the, uh, the larger 17-inch rims on here. And... Uh, you can see all around, uh, it's what you would expect from a twin pine car. Just very, very nice wheels, not all curved up. Uh, same thing with the body. You can see the lines in the back here. Uh, kind of a neat rear look for the car. And this is done in a uh, like a graphite gray. I'm going to go down along the, uh, the side of the car here just so you can see the condition of it. No dents, no dings. We're going to take a look under the hood here. We have the 2.5 four-cylinder, which... Uh, Obviously, again, very, very clean. This co uh, car is undergoing a 140-point certification process, uh, which gives you, uh, really goes over the car from the, the ground up. I'm going to put the hood down so we can see the, uh, the front view of the vehicle. Quite a neat looking car, obviously more aerodynamic to get the most out of your fuel mileage. Uh, which this one is rated at 21 city and uh, and 26 on the highway. Coming around the car, we're going to show you some of the interior features here. Now, if you'll notice, right here is a uh, small button. Uh, this is the true keyless entry. And it's going to be on uh, the front two doors and also on the rear gate. Now, this can be used when uh, exiting the vehicle. Just take the keys with you, press the button, and it locks automatically. And when you're coming back to your vehicle, simply press the button again, and it unlocks automatically. You do not ever need to take the keys out of your pocket, or if you're a woman, out of, out of your purse here. You can see it comes with the uh, original floor mats here, and uh, uh, has a nice 60-40 uh, split, which uh, those seats do lay flat. So if you need to carry any cargo, it does give you plenty of room for that. We're going to go to the inside of the, the passenger cabin here and you can see even in the rear even with a uh, compact SUV you're gonna get plenty of leg space and this is with the the front seats uh, back at a comfortable distance I'm uh, about six foot and this is about where I would have my seat for driving you can see the nice uh, black leather in here very done it just done out very very nice uh, it also does have the uh, red stitching throughout on the seats and on the door trim again kind of gives a, a little bit more unique kind of little sporty look uh, this is where you'll normally see the most problems on a leather seat on a used car as you can see absolutely clean just going to get a full shot of the interior here i'm going to hop on inside and start it up and just go around the cabin for you now with uh with this uh nissan uh like i said it is uh truly uh a keyless entry and uh, you can see you don't have a key on here now in case of an emergency uh, that the, uh, there is a key hidden inside that you can pop out of the remote however all you need to do is just simply turn the uh, turn the knob here to start the vehicle you can see there 30 31 uh, 31 8 is the original miles on it and just going around the cabin <laughs> That's the, uh, that's the three months of uh, Sirius, uh, I'm sorry, XM radio that comes with it that you just heard there. And uh, we're going to go around the cabin here, starting with the power windows. You do have the automatic window, which is one touch for the driver, uh, the window lock, and the power door locks right up here. Uh, I'm going to try to get a close-up of just some uh, hidden away buttons here. Uh, you do have the uh, uh, left and right power mirrors. Uh, that you can adjust very simply with that. This switch is very unique here. I've only seen it on a couple of makes. Uh, you will see it on most Nissans and also Mazdas that you get in. Uh, if you have a good load in here, uh, whether it be packed out with people or cargo, uh, having it at a zero setting would mean that the uh, there is no load in here and that the headlights will uh, just act normally. Now you can adjust it one, two, and three settings uh, for uh, for a large cargo load where your lights would be higher in the air, it will 
physically turn the lights down further so you're not shining them in uh, your neighbor's eyes as you pass by them. Uh, this is the all-wheel drive lock, uh, which basically locks your differential if you ever do get stuck and you need that. It also does come up on your dash and let you know that it is locked. Simply depress it again to turn it off. VDC is Vehicle Dynamic Control, uh, which is uh, Nissan's version of traction control. So if you are getting any wheel slippage, uh, whether it be on slick roads or uh, just for your driving conditions, it is going to adjust to that and uh, break the wheel that's slipping so that, uh, so that you can gain traction. Uh, coming up here to the uh, steering wheel, uh, we have the Bluetooth controls uh, so that you don't ever have to use a handheld phone. And uh, that does link through with your uh, stereo system and come through your speakers. You've got your other uh, volume controls and source control on here. Also your cruise control. Now something that's unique to the SL here, uh, if you notice we have the F1 shifters on here. You have uh, minus and plus, uh, which uh, just makes it a little bit more fun to drive. Takes you a little bit more away from the SUV factor of it and puts a little more fun factor in. Uh, on the, the left controls, you can see you have the lights on the turn signal column, and you have the window wipers on the other side, front and rear. Going to the uh, center cluster here, uh, we have the stereo setup, which is a, a premium Bose system. Really a phenomenal sound in the cabin here, and this gives you uh, AM, uh, FM, uh, satellite radio, and also auxiliary if you want to plug... Uh, if you want to plug in an iPod there or an MP3 player. Uh, very simple controls for the climate here. And you can see you have the uh, heated leather seats as well. Uh, very super clean car. Uh, just over 30,000 miles here. We're going to get an outside view of it. Now you can see the Kelly Blue Book. Uh, uh, suggest twenty twenty thousand dollars for the car. It's priced at eighteen nine here at Twin Pine Auto Group. If you have uh, any questions about this car or any others, simply give us a call at seven one seven seven three three six five four eight. Thank you.